Can't lose our big sword today. Sharpening, on, sharp, sharpening up the hooks. There you go. Who do we got here? David, that could go right here in the middle. <laughs> Look at this man right here. We have the man, the myth, the legend. And then I'm here, of course. It is our channel, so we gotta be here. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, on a beautiful day, it is the day after my birthday. So we are on May 6th, Friday, flat calm weather, the first of hopefully many. We got mahi running offshore between 500 and 1,000 feet. We got swordfish ready to eat. And we're going sword fishing. Today, obviously, the sword slayer, eagle eyes. Then we have myself, David, which we're gonna put on his first sword today. Absolutely, a big one. And Ray, that's running late. But we will definitely be putting him and everybody else here on the sword today. And that'll be Ray's first too. So that's gonna be super exciting. But while we're out there, we're gonna go chasing mahis. So we got our, our troll setups for mahis. Then up here, you see, we got all them pitching rods and a couple of trolling spinners. So we are ready for this. Getting out 8 a.m. Got our weights. Look at those. And we're ready for some fish slaying. So let's get to it. I'm gonna show you a little bit of our ride out. And then we're gonna showcase a lot of David. Which David, this guy is a beast, man. He took apart, what year is it? 82. An 82. Aquasport. Aquasport. <laughs> Took it completely apart, rebuilt it all with his own two hands. Put a brand new engine on it, put brand new electronics on it, did the fuel tank, took and out all the wood, took, took beast of a boat, and we're gonna go to his house sometime later today or tomorrow, and we're gonna show you guys the craftsmanship from this man right here. <laughs> all with his own Thank you, two hands, two hands. That was no, uh, let's hire people to do this. No, he put the work in with his own hand. There's nothing better than being able to do something with your own hands and then to I, enjoy I, the benefits yeah, of it. Yeah, I didn't have a choice. I didn't have any money to hire anyone. So. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this guy is a millionaire. <laughs> so let's get to it, guys. We're gonna wait for Ray, then we're gonna undock and head out, grab some live bait, and then we're offshore, 35 miles. Let's do it. Oh shit, oh shit, back in action. Game on. What are we doing? Swords time. All right, we can finally, we can finally get the fuck out of here. Let's fucking go. And off we go. Trolling these little lures, some squid rigs, even the squid rigs. We hope that they uh, hit it. 
and we get on. So we have deployed the lines. We got this Stella out right now. That Stella over there out right now. And they're right behind the boat. And as I turn a little bit toward it, try to get on them. feet in our handy dandy spot that handy we always dandy. catch swords on we're gonna set up now get the baits rigged up well they're actually already rigged up Mikey was working on that while we were waiting on Ray <laughs> but we were not gonna go out and catch a sword without Ray being on the boat so whatever we had to wait we were gonna wait well, it thank you for waiting I had to work but yeah fucking work man it always gets in the way yeah. Always. Jesus. yeah so we're gonna get these rods deployed we're gonna get the sword out we're gonna put the weights on, we're gonna drop, and then we will be officially fishing. So let's get to it. Sweet, the way you're swimming. Get on Mahi, which that's what he loves the most. And uh, Ray too. Good there. Keep it that way. Alright, see that guys? This is an art form. You have to really know what you're doing when you come out here sword fishing. If not, then you just tangle up and and you're not doing anything. Oh, you're getting tangled. You're doing something. Oh, yeah. You're doing something, yeah. Getting tangled, that's for sure. Look at that. Why is he doing that? Because seaweed off the line. So you see, guys, if you can see that the yellow, the orange line, once it gets with the seaweed, that little shaky movement, because of the tension on the line, it literally cuts right through the seaweed. So that's what Mikey shakes it out. Shake it out. Yeah, shake it out very good. <laughs> so then once we kind of go vertical, like we are about to be now, then we just turn the boat around. And retrieve some line and get into our grip. So now we're gonna go turn the boat around and go southbound. Look, look, right, look at that! Remember, look at that right there, boy! That extreme outdoors, Ray getting. He's got the hoodie. The pilchard for the flat lines, and then man, this is freaking just absolutely amazing. What a beautiful day! We are living the dream out here, guys. Look at this, look at this. Bam, first pilcher in the water. That's a flat line out, and soon we're gonna have mahis on. So we're drifting that way. We're, drift, we're drifting north, facing south, right. 
and our line is literally drifting and it's pretty much all the way north that way i mean south that way so as we drift north our lines drag this way all right guys so these are our mahi setups and we're running slammer twos or slammer threes these are 6500s pen with a conley rod and then we use right there is literally just a j-hook with 40 to 50 pound mono about a foot and a half of a liter and then we're gonna go ahead and pop one of these live portraits right in there and then that's gonna pretty much get them stirred up and ready to eat nah let's get a bigger one let's get a bigger one so while we're in our drift we get the portrait hook them right through the the head as Ray is gonna demonstrate here like that try to come out the nostril so you don't kill them you know it's a big hook but... yeah and then just let the little guy free free really and just like that we got the rod in the water i use 30 pound pandera x nomad camo wire i mean a braid just let enough of him go so that he's out there swimming freely and then bam we'll be hooking up to some mahis here pretty soon oh. mahi on mahi on oh yeah boys maji maji and just like that ladies and gentlemen oh yeah got ray on the mahi everybody gets activated when this happens activate all right, go ahead. Oh man, that's a nice looking mahi too. Early season mahi. You guys see any more? No, loner. Yep, oh. you got a loner mahi. Oh yeah. Yep, mahi on the boat. Radio's on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it always happens. Oh shoot, they're, yeah, yeah, some they're hitting it, they're hitting it, they're hitting it back there. Oh, yep. Another Mahi? Somebody was hitting it. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, what a beautiful looking Mahi. I don't see any more. Well, something was just splashing behind that bait there. You want to bring that one in? Yeah, for sure. Oh, look at that gorgeous mahi. You want to open that cooler up front? Yeah. Flop them right in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're here, they're here, though. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. They just attacked my face. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Always great to see mahi in the boat. Look at this guy. Mahi, mahi. Is there? And that's why you have to always be ready for everything. You gotta have mahi lines out. That way you just you know you don't you don't go home empty-handed. So we're eating we're at least eating fish tacos tonight. So let's go. Yeah, there's a big old sweet line over there. All right. Let's see what else comes out of this. Making a quick run while Mikey rigs up the next swordfish bait because it looks like we just got hit. So he's rigging up another bait, but we saw some floating. So we're gonna show out a couple of Mahi rigs to see what we can get. Oh, we are on, we are on another, what do we got, Mahi? Uh, I hope so. I haven't seen it yet. All right, all right. 
Well, you been... know what the best fish is, right? The barracuda. The barracuda. No, the barracuda. It is a barracuda. It broke you off, didn't it? Oh, I got that on film. The barracuda. And you know, and you get a barracuda, it's always a good thing. That's the best fish in the Caribbean. Yeah, it's the best fish, man. You come on down, I give you barracuda for you. Good time, good time. Very good, good time. Very good, good time. <laughs> Very good, good time. <laughs> Very good. Very good, good time. Yeah, that's actually pretty funny. Very good, very good, good time. <laughs> well, guys, you know what time it is? It's already Pasolito time. We haven't gotten our sword yet, so fingers crossed. Hopefully, when it's Pasolito break, we get tied on the sword or slacked out on the sword. I already took a bite, <laughs> but we want to say congratulations to Julio. He just had a baby boy. Baby Isaiah, that is why he's not able to come with us on this trip. So we have the, the legendary Slippery Beast Pastelito time with the Café con Leche, minus the Café con Leche because we don't have Café con Leche with us today. So we're doing uh, water and that's about it. <laughs> but as Julio would say, you gotta have the Pastelito if you wanna put a sword on the boat. So cheers to Julio. While we stare at the tip, the tip. While we're the staring tip. at the tip, <laughs> staring at the tip, staring, staring at the tip. At the tip. <laughs> God bless you, Julio, and your baby boy. Then those one girl make it touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. <laughs> Goodbye, only man. Goodbye, only man. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, David is on. Oh hell yeah. Out here in the middle of nowhere. And look at David with that perfect stroke. Alright, I thought we flip him right in. Oh! Let's see if his buddies are around. Are you turning, Michael? What a beautiful little mahi. Any friends around? Any friends? I don't see any. Are you kidding me? Another little straggler? Wow. That's, weird. that's the beauty of being out here. You could always catch mahi, you know? Yeah. Hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a party. Somebody, somebody dropped the fish. <laughs> it's a party. Hello. Yeah, I don't think there's any more, Michael. I mean, David. Hold on there, Schmacky. Well, look at the glow on that fish. How do you feel? You feel pretty good right now? I feel on top of the world. Oh, heck yeah. Yes, sir. I wonder if he came off that piece of uh, debris right there. I wouldn't doubt it. See, there's wow, something floating right there. That? See that right there? That's something that's floating. And uh, I believe this mahi right here was just hanging around there. So we're gonna look at that master cast. Well, he's a master baiter. Master baiter. Maggie, can you put the music down all the way? There we go. Thank you, brother. Have a very good time. We are gonna have a very good time. Yeah. Winter kind of picking up. Feels nice. That's good. Some stuff grab that line and pull him in. Bam! That's a nice little schoolie. Dance for me, dance for me. That's the first mahi blood on the boat. Let's turn the water on because this hey, sucker well, in the in the in the cooler over here. We go here, go to switch, go to salt water pump, bam. Jose, yes, sir. Open this up for me. You want oh. him in here? Yes, sir. Yeah, because he's gonna fucking bleed everywhere. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw him in there. Tell him to stop bleeding. Oh shoot. Look at this guy. Look at hey, 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 hey. Slow down, buddy. You're bleeding all over the place. <laughs> There's no point in moving there. Oh my god. Are you on again? It's like a murder scene. Jeez, one little Mahi. And look at this, guys. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie. <laughs> Shit. Damn, David. 
That's just one fish. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to clean this up. Yeah, for sure. I'll get a junior. Holy sh look at guys, look at this. What a what the fuck? It's a freaking bloody freaking murder scene up in this bitch. I think Ray might be Oh baby, yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, we got a double header! Okay, 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 so we got a double header going on. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, this one's better than the ones we caught. Alright, sorry guys though. I have to steer the ball. Yes. Oh, yeah, the next yeah? All right, all right, all right, all right. We are in the action. Oh, good time for you. No, 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 I'm on the camera, guys. You guys have to put rods out. You guys are the A team right here. Yeah, look at that right there. Now I'm gonna have Davi right here, Michael on this side. We got the swordfish rod in, and we're gonna catch Mahi because it doesn't look like we're catching swords. So, <laughs> all right, all right. Bring the bigger one in. This one is uh, probably like a 24, 25. <laughs> over there, what? What do we got, Mikey? Oh, man. That's this one right by the boat here. Land him. Land him. Let's bring him in. You're on? Oh, Mikey's on too, man. Oh, shit. All right, bring him in. Uh, another, we need to get another one in the Bring yours in. Bring yours in. Uh, David, bring it in. Can we open this? Yes, we can. I don't want to lose this fish. All right, bring him right in here. Bring him right in here. We got the door open. Mahi coming in. Guys, this is literally how we do it. Everybody putting in effort. Oh, boom. Yeah, put another rod out, put another rod out. Go, 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 go. All right, all right. All right, you want to bring him in, Mike? Huh, David? This one's on, Mike? Okay, so we got this rod on. David, you're going to have to bring him in. You want me to open this door for you, too? You gotta go to neutral to bring him in. Got it. Got it. Swordfish is screwed, buddy. All right, neutral. Let's go. All right, David. I got you. Watch out. Bam. Just like that. Gaff. Let's go. Bring him right here. I got you with the gaff. Yep. Just bring him in all wild. I got you. In the action. Everybody working together. Teamwork, baby, right. teamwork. Just walk forward. Yep, there you go, David. There you go. Foul hooked and off. This, this guy is coming in. Yep. Okay, let's go straight to the Damn. Straight, straight to the cooler. Okay, this guy's one-handed gaff, still camera in hand. This is how we do it. Okay, David, hold the camera. Damn, 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 damn. Damn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Eat Boo! That. Just like that. All right, let's go. Back to work, buddies. Keep working that rod. The swordfish rod is one. We still have that one on. Let's go with the swordfish. It's good. That's fine. Let's uh. Yeah. Woo! Good stuff, guys. Hell Just yeah. like that. You come offshore and you got to put in work, right? Right, David? We put in work. They were like, shut up, let's get fishing. Are we still on? <laughs> yeah, we still got a fish on here. Let's let a couple of pictures out. I threw some out already. Man, look at that. Another beautiful mahi. Flip them right in 
behind the cooler. Just take him right to the cooler. Yep. Take him right to that edge. Yeah, you, you might have to. Hey, what a beautiful shot. Bam. All right. Fish in the box. Good stuff, Mikey. Let's go. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff, guys. Hell yeah. That was a, a quick little banger. Yup, yup, yup. David, good shit. You see, David? Just like that, man. Five mahi in the boat. Five mahi in the boat. Like see? Just, yeah. Just hanging yeah, out, yeah, yeah. having a good time. We're out here basically on an island. We're literally out here on an island, guys. This is an island. Why do you say we're on an island? Because this boat is big. Because I'm an island, boy. <laughs> It's a big enough boat that we're out here hanging out, just cruising, being comfortable. We don't need anything else. We can live out here, guys. We have water, we have sodas, we have food. Mahi. We have mahi, we start cooking. Very good, a good time. All right, let's get back to work, guys. Let's see you. So a little bit of action after we've been uh, sword fishing literally about eight hours now. What's the that street wrap right uh, over? Hooks in this one? Yeah, we got hooks. No, not in there. That's not mine. The hooks are in my bag in the front. Oh, back in yeah. the front. So hooks are in the front. Been uh, sword fishing. We've had literally just one bite all day long. So let's see. Uh, let's see. This is probably the final drift. It's already about 3 p.m. And then we got about an hour run back and clean and everything. And got things to do tonight. So let's see. Let's see. We got eagle eyes. Hopefully we get tight. We're slacked out. Come on, Julio, tell, send us some tell. prayers. Come on, Julio, send us some prayers, Julio. Well, we spent about nine hours out there in the sword grounds. Had one bite. One bite. One bite. One bite. Whacked the freak out of our bait. And uh, then we had a bunch of mahi bites. So it turned out to be a, a no sword type of day, but at least we got some mahis on the boat. Yeah. And it was a great time. Just the boys out there hanging out, catching mahis, drifting for swords. Well, we definitely had a blast, no doubt. Uh, I mean, hey, for sure. anytime you can come back and put food on the table, it's better than going back empty handed. That's for sure. That's so. Thanks. We had a good time. Awesome. It was beautiful out there. I mean, we were doing about, what, 56 miles an hour, 58 miles an hour the whole time? Yep. Just boom, all in butt. So I think overall, I think we did what we could do for the swords. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing sure. else we could have done. Yeah. We gave them the B, we gave them the Yeah, we did multiple drifts, multiple baits, different variations. I mean... They yeah. were just not uh, not hungry or not there. They weren't home. And there was other boats drifting the area too, so you know nobody was really hooking up. So I guess it's just you know the, that type of day. Yeah. But nonetheless, Mahi Mahi is mahi -mahi. gonna be cooked up. Um, I don't think we're gonna be putting that in a, in an episode today because we always cook mahi sauce. You know, yeah. just watching us eat mahi once again is there's nothing thrilling about that. You know, you could look at last season's episodes. Yeah, we got plenty of mahi on those. Uh, so we're gonna get back to the house and have a very good a good time and have a very good a good time. <laughs> 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 yeah. So to next time, guys. We love you, stay extreme. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share the video. And once again, don't forget to go by uh, Slippery Beast and say congratulations to Julio on his newborn baby son. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Another fisherman to the group. Another fisherman to the group. Just, you know, bringing him in. So, till next time. See you guys later, stay extreme. Stay extreme. <laughs>